My interest in chemistry really started in high school. Um, I always found the creative side of science to be particularly alluring and, and never, never a repeat of an experiment. It is a little bit like cooking. I love cooking. Um, I love art. And I always try to understand that everything can be made better through new chemistries, through new materials. And I wanted something, I wanted a career. I wanted to do something that is not repetitive day to day. I have always been very passionate about, for example, women like Mary Carey. Um, she inspired me. She's one of my heroes. She persevered. She did not always have it easy. She was born at a time when maybe women weren't as allowed to be scientifically inclined as she was. And I always looked at her career and, and hoped that one day I will leave a little stamp somewhere on humanity the way that she did. I've always loved innovation. I've always loved in, in progress. Progress comes in, in many ways. If you look at the, the current trends that we're all facing and, and things you read in the newspapers, it is around sustainability. It is around plastic recycling. It is around prevention of the pollution and, and protection of, of our natural habitats. Those are all big topics that drive me, I feel passionate about, and I would like to find a way to contribute to, to finding solutions to, to those problems. The advice I'd give young women is if you believe in science the way I do and, and you feel passionate about it, stick with it. Don't give up. It's not always the coolest choice in high school, but it is the best choice if that's something that, that you are in love with doing and it has offered Many women, hopefully like me, a, a lifelong love story with, with molecules and chemistries and, and I enjoy doing what I do every day. But stay strong and don't give up. Believe in yourself.